Hey YouTube, it's Haydex Gaming here and today I am bringing you 35 tips and tricks that you might not have known. So without further ado, let's jump right in. You can create a backup of a world by going to load world, clicking the world you want, clicking backup, and then clicking that one and renaming it. Then you can just rename it to whatever you need to write. World 2. Rename. Creating a settlement will also create a new elder. You can name your settlements by going use settings and then changing the name of your settlement. When you have claimed a settlement, you can no longer hurt your people. It is always handy to keep some recall scrolls on you. If, in case of a pinch, if you need to get out of it, just click it. And I'll take you back to your spawn point. Placing down food troughs and filling them with wheat will allow your animals to continue breeding when you're not there. Furthermore, you can get your villagers to fill it with wheat by clicking configure storage and changing the storage to consumables, raw food, and then adding wheat. You can create zones so that your villagers don't walk away from where you don't want them to. So you can do so by pressing C to open up your settlement settings. Clicking restrict, manage areas, and creating a new area. So there's a few ways to do this. You click and drag. Um, so just click configure. Create the zone that you want them to only stay in. Go back. And then choosing where they want to go. So area one. And that's it. So this guy now will not leave this house because it's not in his zone. Uh, to remove this, press C. Change it back to unrestricted. And if you want to delete a zone, just go in click delete some handy shortcuts to know U will use your health potions B will use your buff potions R will place a torch F will open your mount C will open your settlements menu if you're within a settlement left control will toggle smart mining M will open your world map N will open your uh, regional map keypad plus and minus will zoom you in and out if you are if you don't have a keypad then you will have to rebind them f4 will hide the user interface and f5 will screenshot some handy inventory shortcuts that's will restock from nearby inventories so it will pull from chests into your pack this one here will quick stack from your pack into your chests this one here will sort your inventory left alt and clicking on an item will lock it in place so that when you sort it it does not move left shift will move an entire stack into a position so holding shift and clicking there it is. Left control will trash an item. And then left shift when crafting will craft an entire stack. You can take an entire screenshot of your island by pressing enter and typing forward slash map shot. That will save a map shot and it will come down the bottom with a link to where you can find it. Just click on it and it will take you to your document from your regional map if you scroll up and down with the mouse wheel it goes up and down if you want to scroll left and right hold shift and then scroll with the mouse wheel you can use multiple rope at a time and then just take them to where you need to go when renaming your chests you can use an item sprite Simply go into where you need to rename the chest, hold shift, and click on the icon you want. From there, hit enter, or press the little save icon. Here, you'll see that it now has the icon I selected. When you find blueberry bushes, make sure to collect the blueberries, but also make sure to collect the bushes so that you can plant them in your farms. You can hire your explorers and send them out onto expeditions. Just choose where you want to send them, and click buy. Once you hire an angler, you can then send them on fishing trips to go and collect fish for you. 
the select buy. You can place down a training dummy to figure out your damage per second. You can get your summons to focus on an enemy by right clicking on them. You can get them to stop focusing on one enemy by right clicking anywhere else. If you want to remove your summons, simply go up to the buff and right click. You can copy and paste chest settings and workstation settings by right clicking, clicking the configure button, clicking the copy button, and then going to another chest that you want to paste it onto, clicking the configure button and clicking paste. Now it'll have the same settings, you'll just have to rename it to what you want. It is important to know that small critters such as birds and squirrels and rabbits will respawn, but larger NP NPCs such as cows and sheep will not respawn. If you run out of livestock on an island, you can go to another island and bring them back with rope. Opening your regional map with N, you can then select an island and place your own notes on them. You can add recipes to workstations by right clicking, selecting configure, and then choosing add recipe to make them select what they want to do. From there, you can change how many you want them to do by clicking on these arrows and changing it to do it a certain amount of times, do it until a certain amount has reached, or do it forever. Settlement flags can be mined and picked up and relocated to another spot. Just note, when you do relocate them, whilst it is not placed down, your settlers will be inactive. You can check a settler's mood by talking to them, asking how they feel, and you can increase their happiness by having lots of furniture in their room, a bigger room size, and a better meal. The maximum happiness you can get is 100. Sleeping in a bed can be used to fast forward through the time. Once you hire a stylist, you can get her to change your look. Once you hire a mage, you can enchant your items at them for a certain fee. Once you hire an animal keeper, you can get them to shear your sheep and milk your cows. Chopping down a fruit tree will give you their saplings. I have not done this, but building a wall around your settlement will prevent raiders from getting in. Landfills can be created at a workstation with two of any stone. It can then be used to build over a body of water to make a bridge. You can go to another settlement and hire out their settlers. If you have multiple settlements, you can choose when hiring where they go to. Dynamite can be bought from the pirate and is really good at excavating caves. For the final tip, your crafting and working stations can use nearby storage. This can be seen by hovering over this option. Thank you for watching my tips and tricks video. If any of these helped you, please let me know. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you know any other tricks, let me know down in the comments. If you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and follow me over at twitch.tv slash and have a good one.